All aboard, it's Jang here with a look at the Playmobil boy and girl room set. It's just a room, it comes with all the furniture and also the figures included, and this is intended to be used with a house. And in this video, I'm going to focus on showing it in the large grand mansion set, but definitely hit pause here if you if you want to spend some time just looking more closely at the individual details all the small little things by themselves but here everything is kind of uh, built up and expanded out into place in one of the larger spaces in the large grand mansion the set includes two small beds two child-sized beds and they have different decorations on them so there's one that's supposed to be the the girl's bed and then Here's the one that's supposed to be the boy's bed. These are actually interesting bed units because they can be reconfigured. You can stack them one on top of the other to turn the whole thing into a bunk bed setup. Or you can just move the position of the bed relative to the posts to raise it up and give yourself some storage space underneath. And obviously they do give you lots of stuff in this set that needs to be stored. So it makes sense that they would allow you to do that. Here you've got some some uh, large toy sea creatures for kind of the, the sea theme on this side. And then more storage back there. That's a good thing, including a couple of kind of painted wicker baskets and a small shelf in the middle. This one has an interesting top to it because it's got a design. It's kind of looking like the top of a castle. I think that's, that's really cool. Even a little flag there. That's a toy boat that's uh, stored up there right now. Here's an even larger toy boat that's stored on the other side of the room so far. That's nice. And then there's another storage unit that's up against the wall. This one's just kind of attached to the wall, but they do include a clear stand if you want to use this by itself. You know, if you don't have this particular mansion set or something that, that has a connector on it, you can still have that kind of elevated up above the ground. Nice large table over on this side that has plenty of space to put stuff on top. There's a backpack there, which actually has some space inside of it. You can open up that top, but there's not much that you can actually fit in there. There's a recorder back there. Here's a small guitar or lute. I don't, I don't know exactly what the, the name of a, a smaller device like that. I'm not a musician myself, but you can see that it's a stringed instrument. Put it that way. Yes, that's safe. Small little chair here, and then uh, I, I'm going to save the, what I consider to be the best thing for last. I'm going to switch over to the guinea pig pen. They actually have a guinea pig habitat, which includes kind of a little cave set up for them. It looks like it's all covered in, in hay right now. And there are two guinea pigs that are included. Both of them can stand on all four legs in a standard format, but the darker one can also kind of uh, get up on its on just its hind legs to be asking for food. I don't know, the, the edges of that habitat look like they're a little bit too low. I, I personally would want to have some, some uh, taller sides to that thing because it looks like if they get really adventurous, at least that one that's the darker colored one might be able to try to get out. Okay, now for the Playmobil toys in Playmobil <laughs> scale. This is phenomenal. I always love when companies do this when they make toys of toys. This is great. This is actual Playmobil stuff that's been recreated in, in a smaller size here. It's the, the big farm set with the big barn in it. And they've also got a tractor over here with a kind of a hay trailer on it. You've got some horses with people on them. You've got people working around that are, that are pushing wheelbarrows around with hay and feed. You've got people who are getting ready to, to milk cows. You've got a couple of, of uh, pairs of cows, a couple of uh, triplets of, of pigs, some more just plain horses around in different colors even, and then a play mat beneath all of that, giving you kind of a little lake area, a little cobblestone road, and some field. So all this stuff is toys for the toys themselves. And gosh, it's just it's just wonderful, especially since it's actual licensed Playmobil stuff that you could actually get in full size. I love it, I love it, I love it. These two child-sized figures are also included with the set, one male and one female. Uh, they both have kind of flip-flops on. I guess the boy has more of strapped sandals. The girl is actually wearing flip-flops that can be removed. Those are silicone rubber pieces that can be slipped on and off. And they provide a lot of traction. They actually work really well and make the figure more stable 
when it's standing up than just a regular figure would be by itself. So that pretty much covers what's included in this set. Obviously, I like it very much. Obviously, the walls and wall decorations and all that stuff is not included with this set because that's all stuff that's part of the large grand mansion that all of this is sitting in. You can use all this stuff, like I said, without the large grand mansion set for sure. You can get it just as, it's, as a set by itself or you can use it with other houses. You could even split this into two completely separate rooms if you want to. Obviously, there's enough stuff to, to fill a couple of small room spaces. And I just really love the idea of having Playmobil scale Playmobil toys. Playmobil toys of Playmobil toys. Just great stuff that would really make for a fun layout if you collect together all the, the different things they've made over the years, or a lot of them, in that scale to make kind of a scale Playmobil diorama in Playmobil scale. Know what I mean? It's just fun stuff. Anyway, that's it for my thoughts on this one. Obviously, I like the whole thing quite very much. Hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any thoughts about this set that you would like to share, including if you don't like it, if you disagree with my opinion, that's all good. Please share your thoughts in a comment down below. Thanks for watching. I'll be talking to you again soon.